Hi guys, it's Mel here and welcome back from Marguerite Miller Monday and it is week 29, don't forget to put in that hashtag here on YouTube and in, on Instagram, see what everyone's doing and don't forget I have playlists on my channel. This is my third year of doing the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge so yeah, plenty to check out guys. So today's one we are going to do portrait style. Uh, we, something related to a sport or physical activity. So I found this, it was a little vintage image that I had in my stash. Um, and it's a girl on a bike. So that's a physical activity. Something begins with G. So we have girl and I also have some gears and bits. So we may use some of those as well because I thought they kind of went with the bike idea. A clock or a watch. So I have this. Um, something sharp. So I have two options for this. I'll probably use both. Firstly, I have this stamp set and I have these arrows with off you go because I'm feeling like this is a race, you know. Arrows are sharp and I also have these are uh, the texture. They're almost like fabric stickers. And I was going to use this one because it looks sharp on the edge uh, that says team. Or maybe I'll use the one that says win. But I think I'll use the one that says team. A co colour associated with spring. So we have a few options again. I have some beautiful tissue paper that's all pale pinks and blues and has flowers. Very spring-like. We have... Um, there's no... Yeah, greens not blues we have some stamps and we have a little scrap so we have all of that and then bonus a candy wrapper or cough drop wrapper so the only thing I had that would work is I have this chocolate wrapper a lint one I think this is their coconut one yeah and I thought this was quite cute as well because it's got this kind of green on it and it's also got these flowers so it might work with it we're going to go with it, guys. So the first thing I need to do is I know I want my girl kind of here. And I'm only going to use half of the clock like so. So I know I want them like that. And then I have to kind of work out where everything else is going to go. Because obviously I want to use some of this paper. I think I'm just going to kind of rip a bit off because it's going to make it a lot easier to work with. So I'm going to do that. And I don't know if I want it more at the top or if I want it at the bottom. I think I want it more at the top. Do you know what? Let's just start sticking it down and getting it done. So I hope you guys are all well. I know there's a lot of sports going on. I think by the time this goes up, we would have had the football match. Look, guys, I don't follow football. I'm really not that interested in it. But I do know England is in the finals. <laughs> like, is it the World Cup? Is it the European? I really don't know, guys. <laughs> Um, but I know they're in the finals, I think against Spain. Um, and the only reason I know that is because it kind of affects where my partner works. So depending, it kind of, yeah, anyway, so there's that, which, you know, but I didn't want to do football. Firstly, I thought, well, it's a bit kind of obvious to do football because I did have a vintage tea card with footballers on so that was cute but I didn't want to do football and then I came across this image which I think I got in you know you can buy packs of vintage papers and stuff I actually have a couple in my Etsy shop at the moment but before I was creating my own and had like the kind of amount that I now have I had brought a couple of packs and I think this was in one of those. So it's good to be using it up. And I'm thinking I'm going to put this little bit of pink 
kind of down here just there and now I've done it so that it's not meeting but that's okay when this comes to worse I can put a little bit more um, of the tissue paper that's why we love tissue paper guys because it can just be I love those blue flowers that I saw thinking more like this yeah that'll do so I went with this I went with let's imagine that this is the 1930s and she's taking part in a famous bike competition you know like is it the Tour de France I mean you can really tell sports is not my thing although certain sports are my thing but they're not what you would think guys <laughs> like I'm a little obsessed <laughs> with both wrestling <laughs> and strongman competitions uh they are the sort of things I watch I used to love sumo wrestling <laughs> it just <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm just imagining what some of your faces must be looking like as you listen to that <laughs> But yeah, they're the sort of sports I enjoy um, and always have. I blame, um, I think it was my great grandma who I used to, when I was really little, we're talking, I don't know, three, something like that. She used to watch wrestling, like the old type wrestling, you know, with um, Big Daddy and the giant haystack and all that kind of thing. And I used to sit and watch it with her. And I don't know, I just really love wrestling. And now I've kind of passed that love on to my youngest son from literally the time <laughs> that he possibly could. <laughs> um, by, again, by three or four, I've passed it down. He was watching wrestling with me and is uh, we've taken him to some of the big, you know, like, when they come to London and things like that and uh, we meet them when we go places and yeah he's more obsessed with it than I am like his trivia knowledge is fantastic of uh, wrestlers uh, mainly American I liked both the American and the English we used to take him to local matches you know in this country where it's just local wrestlers nothing big or fancy or anything like that but they're good fun um but that's the sports i watch so <laughs> um yeah it's not exactly i'm wondering about putting a cog on there i actually wanted the team flag on there but i could do both so down here we need to work out where we're going to put some of this cute flower Um, so football, not my thing, uh, but yeah, strongman competitions, wrestling, all that good stuff <laughs> that most people hate. Uh, that's the kind of sports I like to watch. Um, so yeah, I'm just not really a sport girl so anyway as I was saying before I got completely off topic and probably made a lot of you go you watch what I I'm thinking that I think it's the Tour de France is it I don't know but bike race around Europe 1930s women's because you know they didn't have mixed ones do they have mixed ones now I don't know um and she's racing look how happy she is as well she's just loving that you just know that right now she's going downhill that she's just loving the wind in her hair and not having to pedal <laughs> that's what she's doing right now she's like oh this is good this is the downhill bit yes please <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, so we got that. And I wanted to put these stamps on, which I know is a bit weird, but I kind of love the colours of them. And I just kind of love 
having them on there. I think it just adds a little summit summit. And I was wondering really if there should have been a cog under here. Do you know what? We're going to cut this bit because it's kind of cut anyway, the die. So let's see what that looks like. Because if you can't fit it underneath, you just have to faux fit it so that it looks like it's fitted underneath. But I don't know if I like that. Maybe it needed more. Maybe that's the problem. Mm, maybe I don't like that one. Maybe this one works better because it looks more like a cog or a gear for our G. I was looking up, what's the difference between a cog and a gear? Because I was thinking, I know I've definitely called them gears. So I was looking up what that was and apparently the whole thing is a gear and the cogs are the um, teeth around the edge and the cogs fit into each other like that, but the actual piece is a gear. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong, that's just what I saw today when I was looking it up. So, look at me getting information for doing a Marguerite Miller collage. You know, always learning. So anyway, she's on her bike ride around Europe for her team. She's loving it. She's seen all these countries. Um... And just enjoying herself. The clock, I'm thinking, is like because they time themselves, don't they? We're going to have the tab on this side. I just need to see. I've got a couple of options for tabs, actually. Right, let's do our stamped image first because then I want to fit that down and then we're going to work around it. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to pull it off the backing and it's not wanting to go. Come on. Stop fighting me. All right, so I've obviously not used this one before because it really did not want to come off and it has no previous ink on it. So, yeah, I need to make sure that that's the right way up because I have this label and we're going to put it on there. And it says, off you go, because she's off on her bike ride. And let's just call her... Let's just call her Glenda. Give us another G on there. We're going to call her Glenda. Glenda having the time of her life, taking part in this competition on her bike. Off you go. Yeah. Um, hopefully that's dry. Off on her competition. But yes. So anyway, I mean I could have made that into a tab as well because I could have bent that over, but I'm not going to. Best laid plans and all that. I'm just gonna cut that off there. Off you go. And then yeah, I was wondering about putting a cog there. Could have even put a cog under there, couldn't I? Can we quickly stick this up? Could have had a cog, like underneath. Do we like that? I kind of do. I kind of like that. So let's cut this in half because I can always use the other half somewhere else. But this is going to need a slightly different glue because of it being a thicker card. Um, yeah. So we're going to put the cog under there or the gear. Let me rephrase that. We're putting the gear under there. I could even put the other bit of the gear down there. Do I like that? I don't know if I do. We could put it on the clock and then I really want the team or the win. I think the team... So we could put the other cog there and we could put the ge team gear. We can put the other gear. It's a gear bell. You picked it because you wanted the gear. What do we just want to Let's put the other gear there. So yeah, me and sports. No, I just, 
I mean, people are so talented and all that kind of thing. But the only sport I used to love to do is running. So, um, off you go. Team, team, team. Do we want it there? Yeah, we want it there. All right. Now, I even had this number, this number nine, as if that was her number. But that's too much. We don't want that. Um, I feel like that white's too white. white. Maybe that's what's bothering me, that it just needs to be muted just a little bit because it's too bright. Yeah, that's better because everything on here is either more muted or vintage um, or, yeah, has more of a sepia tone to it. So that white was just annoying me. Where is the lid to my glue? Okay, team, team, team. And we have this one. I thought I had another one, but I obviously don't. I only pulled this one out. I don't know if I like this one now. Hold up, guys. Let's get me a label. I knew I had another one because I picked out a green, a muted green, because, again, I was thinking of um, spring colours. So I, I had a green dotty one. Now, where has my green one gone? No, I don't want that one. Hmm. Interesting. Admittedly, I was getting several videos ready at once, so it could be anywhere. Um, it could have got muddled up with one of the other video things. So we could just have this. Okay, let's go around the edge a little bit. And then we can put our number on it. And then we're done. Woohoo! Where did the numbers go to? Here they are. So it is week 29. Oh my gosh, guys. Honestly, I can't believe how quickly it's going. I always feel so old when I say that. I can't believe how oh, how quick the year goes. But it is going super quick this year. Um, and I think... The fun thing about a challenge like this is that, yes, you can see how quickly it's going. You think we're 29 weeks into the year already. But also it makes you stop and really recognize each week because we're obviously doing collages for it. So it makes us realize, oh, my gosh, this is that week. Um, yeah, we're going to put that on there. And it's also good to have it down the bottom there because of where the last tab was. I'm trying to stagger them in the index box, index card box, so that it's a bit easier to see what number and to just grab it. So let's have a look then, guys. We are done. Something related to a sport or physical activity. We have our lady on her bike. Then um, Glenda, I think I called her, didn't I? Something that begins with G. We have a girl and we have gears. A clock or a watch. There we go. A colour associated with springs. We've got pink on here. We've got greens. We've got blue. Like they're all pale colours. Bonus, a candy wrapper. So that's down here. And I forgot something sharp. So something sharp is the arrows or the pointy bit on the team flag. Team, team, team. So, yeah, I kind of like that. Should we round some of the edges? Maybe just round the bottom ones. Although that seems a bit weird because this is meant to stand upright. So, yeah, I like that. So there we go, guys. What do we think? It came together. I like the stamps on there. I didn't need to add them, but it's something for spring colours too. And you can just see the flowers and get that little shimmer down the bottom. So that's it for today's one. I hope you enjoyed that one. And uh, I will be back again soon. Do not forget to like and subscribe. It really, really does help. And I always love to hear your comments and interact with you all. And, um, yeah. 
Thank you so much for watching and wherever you are in the world and whatever sport you are watching or whether you don't watch sports at all. I hope you're having lots and lots of crafty fun. Bye for now, guys.